Oh, getting back to work on this. I had that in place to score so as I can repair the lip. I've done over there, I've just got to do a few bits and bobs over there, which I'm doing today. So, I have been working on all of this again, them welds. So, a lot better. But I'm just going to remove the scuttle on this wing and I'll be back with you. This is what I've been doing. I've been redoing all of this. All the welds there, much larger, grinding it. Repaired this lip, made a new lip here. I've been using this piece of wood here to tap all the edges flat and then I'm replacing like, the lip. Because once that's done, that's uh, done. I'm not sure on this bit here, so that should be a bit taller. But I've got this here, which is the same thickness as the lip. So I'm using that to make templates for the lip here. But I think this does go off to the corner like that. Yeah, it's the same size. So this, this is the bulkhead so far. I'm feeling more confident now. And I'm just going around making it look better before I put this side on. Yeah. Looking good. I'll be back with you when I've started uh, repairing these bits. And that one's completely gone. Okay, back shortly. Right, I've cut all the nasty bits out of there that was uneven. Clean that up. And I'm going to make a new piece of metal that goes in there. Like that. And I'll show you when I've done that. So this bit's ready to receive the new bit. I've still got this corner to sort out. I've got this little bit here to sort out. And a couple of bits over there. The rest of it is not too bad. So I'll be back with you when I've done that. But that's it so far. Yeah, everything's started getting cleaned up again. Making it better. I'll be back with you shortly. The new lip is done. All the new lip across there. I'm now working on this bit again. Giving it some seam welds. Much better. Going over it again. Because I've put a new lip there and I might as well go over this again, make it look much neater. A lot. I'm happy now. It was always niggling in the back of my mind that I should go over this again. Much neater. Look at them welds. From there, and it ends all the way up the top of here. I just got to clean off the slag off it, or whatever you call it. I hate that word. And then, going in there again. I feel much better for it. Proper seam molds. And actually, push the whole car with it. Right, back shortly. Before I grind, I want to show you all that it is seam molded. Not bad for a flux core. Seam molded. Seam molded. And seam molded up there. Now I'm just going to grind it. I'm really happy, it's starting to look really good, tidy, I wasn't happy with it before because you could see the welds through the sealer, now I'm going around doing it all flat, I'm a lot happier now, so that looks a lot neater, I'm going to grind that and I'll show you the end result, I will be back out here tomorrow doing some more, possibly on the inside, this is the new lip, made all the way up to the end so it's starting to look really good I've got to straighten this little bit out and knock it up a little bit but other than that looking fantastic I'll be back with you when I've cleaned it up some more and I'll show you the end result well part of it because obviously there's still more to do in tidying it up more grinding that's what it looks like so far it's all level <laughs> All that needs is some, uh, what's it, um, a bit of fiberglass. 
I prefer that than filler on the outer bits here. So that is definitely 100% done there. As is the lip. And a whole new lip going all the way around. All the way around, right up to the corner. So that is pretty much, I'm really happy with that. Heck of a lot better than what I did before. Hell of a lot better. And I will be addressing that in the middle again. I can't put any fiberglass on it yet because as you are aware, I am still working on the inside and it will just burn through the filler or fiberglass. Um, so tomorrow when I come back out, I'm gonna start working on the inside again, get that buttoned up and then I can fill this and primer it. And then I can start working on putting this back. So, get in there. Um, I'll start cleaning up in a minute. I'll have to put some primer on there for tonight though, just so it don't rust overnight. Um, yeah, because I ain't bothered about the primer, that'll just sand back off again. But it'll stop it from rusting in the meantime. So, I'll be back with you shortly. I'm just going to clean up a bit and we'll have a proper look together. Sorry there ain't been a video for a while, but I have to get things together. I mean, that grinder there is new. And the, I did have two of those little grinders, but the brushes has gone on my little one. Doing car work. I don't have to go for the uh, your power tools, don't you? <laughs> but at least I've still got one. Um, yeah, I'll be back with you shortly. All right, I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to pack up and go in. Because it's too late to use my grinder now. But I am well chuffed with that. Even the new lip going all the way across. I'm going to clean all that up. Do properly. But the hair is looking good. Look at this. This is the weld that I first did on here. Same weld all the way across. I'm getting the gist of it now. I must say that has improved. <laughs> well chuffed. And tomorrow I'm going to start getting the wing rail back on. Oh, weird talking outside to myself. I'll be back with you shortly. I'm going to clean up all of this. Clean up a bit. And pack up all my electric tools. See you in a minute. So what do you think guys? The side's looking a heck of a lot better in here. Obviously I've got to put this side, I've got to put that side's back on. Put all that. Kind of tidy she's looking. Even across the front. She's looking really tidy. All up here is looking tidy. I've got, got to sand all of this and give it another coat of primer. There's no point at the minute while I'm working on it still. Move this. She's got a new lip. Going all the way around. I would start repairing this. But yeah. What do you reckon? All in there has been cleaned. I've got to give it... Um, Got to give it another sort of seam weld across here, grind that down, and then that'll be done. But look, that bulkhead looks a heck of a lot better, doesn't it? Cleaner. I've still got to clean all of this out of there, but I'm using it at the minute. These are all the bits that's going to be treated and then put back in there. Um, that's got to be sanded again. There's no rust, it's just that obviously when we weld and it's been hitting this and burning the sections off. But I knew that was gonna happen anyway. All this is treated. This just needs sanding and painting. But obviously I'm not at this section yet. I will do this when I do this, because I've got to take this off, repair it all inside and out, primer that, put that back on, 
but while that's off I'm going to be cleaning all like inside the metal and what like but again that's the front I'm not on the front not on this section yet that was we, we when I start wanting to put the face back on it I can't wait to see it lights a grill and bumper back on there I think these Cortinas look wicked without a bumper as well. I don't know if you've seen, anyone else has seen one without bumpers. You got your lights, your grill, but no bumper, and it looks amazing. You just start, stick your edge plate on, straight onto the metal here, or on the side here. Looks amazing, but not, not on my Cortina. <laughs> oh, this is still solid. It really, this just really needs a good clean. I'm going to pick all the spot welds out of this, take the valance off and obviously that will then repair all of that clean on the inside of it clean all inside here when this valance is off and she's going to be fantastic um, yeah, let me know what you think she looks like in here ignore the engine because obviously that's still rusty a little bit but in here, I don't know, you'd have to go back to my first video to have a look again at what all of this looked like. But there is literally no rust in here now. A couple of months of work and there's no rust anywhere in here. The rust is all gone. No rust in there. No rust in there. That has got to be welded back to the side in there. Uh, I don't think I could do that end until the bottom scored back in and the top score because I think that welds over the top of the school. So, look at that. Perfect. I can't wait to get all in here primed. And then that can be ticked off the list. Ignore the wheel, that's, off. that's for my Skoda. But obviously I'll be getting back in here tomorrow. But, down there has been primed temporarily. Up there has been primed temporarily. I'm still looking into whether to repair that floor. Because it has gone down there badly. And obviously up there, the sill's definitely at it. I was looking to see if I could repair it, but nah, it's too far gone. So two new cells. Obviously, there's no point in me repairing this yet until I've got the floor in, and I've got to take these chassis rails off. So then I'll go be done. But I'll do them with this old floor. I'll just clean all the paint off, unspot weld it, put my new um, chassis in, and then I'll put a couple of spot welds back and at least that would be my car strong. And at the back here, I'll do the same, but I'll put like a, a bar in and weld it to it just to support it until I can get the floor. And then the next job, one of the other things I'm going to do is repair this, which will put some strength back in this temporarily. Again, put a couple of spot welds in until I get the floor when I make the piece. Still loads to do. But really chuffed with that lip I made. I've got to go around straightening all these back out. Um, hopefully, look how good she looks. Fantastic. Hopefully, um, can't put the window in because the window requires me to do the repairs on the A post, doesn't it? I can't have the window in there. Uh, the scuttle repair, I've got to repair that, the scuttle panel. That can't go back in yet, neither, until I've done the A posts inside. So yeah, it looks like I need to get onto the A posts. Um, before I can do any more up here, I mean, obviously I'm gonna get all that off, and I'm gonna redo that primary 
reprimer that, do that side and then up here is done for the time being. I haven't removed the engine yet because I'm not giving up. I promised you all I am doing a video at startup. I've got in my basket, I haven't ordered it yet, new points, uh, HT leads, uh, what else, what else have I got in my basket? Um, I was looking at a coil, I was thinking of getting a new coil as well, uh, new plugs, new spark plugs, uh, I've got to give it a fighting chance, and a brand new starter motor. I thought, well, I'm rebuilding the engine anyway. Why not have a brand new spot start motor to go with it? It's about 130 odd quid, I think, for the start motor. It's going to be worth it. At least I know it's fresh and new. So, anyway, that's me update so far, and I will do another update after tomorrow if I get enough done. Obviously, if I can't film enough for you, there's no point in putting it up. No, you know, nobody wants to watch a couple of minutes of videos or five minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. Tomorrow I'll get back on that. Put all that corner back in. Uh, that be it. Please like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.